Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to Dark Souls 3. In our last episode, we defeated High Lord Wolnir, which is a very, very cool boss fight. Well, this little gate opened up this way, and I want to see what's up here. So we're going to go have a look-see. So join me as we climb some stairs, I guess. And no many hours, I'm not dying on these stairs. One of my mods is 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 uh, greatly tickled whenever I die on staircases, which is totally fine. It is funny. <laughs> Uh, cause it was, it's, 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 it's a reference to our, uh, Castlevania playthrough on stream. Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. That's just pretty. Oh, I could stay here and look at that all day. This place is gorgeous. Look at it. The trees and the snow and the water and the night, the bridges. Like, oh, the architecture and the moon. This is really nice. Try jumping. Uh, the heck are those? Be wary of gorgeous view. Yeah, for sure. Like a dream. Indeed. All right. New bonfire. Which I appreciate, but, like, there was one literally just down those stairs. It wasn't that much of a deal to just run up here, but okay. It is nice to have. Okay. A little dead end happening here. I guess that road, uh, the road led to somewhere once upon a time, but not anymore. I do kind of want to go back to the... Because this is obviously a whole new area. Um, I'm going to make a quick detour down to the Smoldering Lake. Because there was a fog door we never went through. And I do want to know what's in there. I was kind of hoping this would be like a dead end. And then, and then I could go off that way. But this is apparently the way to actually go. So. Um, abandoned Tomb is pretty close to that spot. Let's go there. Alright. Just quick, quick warp this way. The Farron Flash Sword. See? That would be cool. I need to get new spells. One thing I am I am getting a little bit annoyed about, actually, is how we've been using Soul Arrow, Heavy Soul Arrow, the entire game. I've gotten two other spells, a few other spells, in fact, since then, but they just aren't as good. They either cost too much or don't do enough damage. And I know I could have gotten that Crystal Rain ability, but um, my friends who play Dark Souls, uh, you know, who, who, who have played the game, or and, and the uh, wiki as well, confirmed that these spells just weren't very good. So... Been a little bit bummed out by that so far. I may need to start looking things up. I don't, I don't like to do that, but I, I want some kind of flavor in my spell cast. And going, you know, heavy attack, light attack, heavy attack, light attack is great and all, but how is that different than just using a sword? You know, I, I could have gone great sword or something and, you know, actually felt durable or something. I don't mean to complain, but it's just... I, I picked mage because I was hoping to have utility in different spells and cool stuff like that. What is this? Great swamp... Succulus? Cuculus? Cuculus. I have no idea how to pronounce your name, but it's weird. So there's a boss fight in there then, huh? I guess you might as well come along. Not sure what's through here, but we shall find out. Phantom Great Swamp Cuculus. You must be a pyromancer. Yep. Fire in one hand, and where are you going? This way, please. Be wary of fire. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, so what's in here, then? Uh, I don't think I like the look of what's going on in the middle there. Uh, Cuculus, you want to come in anytime now? Apparently, they're stuck out there. What is this thing in the middle here, though? It's clearly something. Oh, it's one of these demon things. I fought one of you before. Old Demon King. Oh, maybe I haven't then. You seem a bit different. There's the fire they mentioned. It's not so bad. Oh, nope, never mind. It's bad. So this big tangled mess of bodies in the middle is kind of cool. Dark, but cool. Alright, so basically keep your distance and use magic. You can roll with that. That's kind of what I do. Get in the way of the fire that time. Dang it. It's hoping we move a little bit. He's got a lot of health, but he's not that bad so far. He's going after Cuculus. There's the fire again. Should probably get my anti-fire shield on, actually. Which is what I'm using the metal one for. Oop. Time to roll. Or run, actually. Oh, he's on fire now! That's not good. Yeah, please don't actually smack me around too badly. Overhand. That's usually in time to roll. 
Out of magic. Oh, out of magic. And then I couldn't yeah, get up fast enough on that one. Okay. So it definitely gets more intense when it goes into fire mode. Wasn't expecting a second boss that soon. That's cool, though. Alright, I can definitely see that this is um, where, where Wolnir wasn't really a boss, where being a mage or not being a mage really mattered. This one definitely is in my favor, I think. Having all that distance is very, very handy. So we're gonna jog on back down, recollect my souls, resummon old Cuculus, and we'll uh, get this back on again. I don't much like having to go through my embers, I had to use a bunch of them last time because I got into a bit of a war with that stupid dark spirit, but we will manage. Yes, we will. And of course, during the that, that death montage episode, we took care of the giant ballistas, so, you know, we can kind of traverse around here fine. Giant worm's dead, too. So this whole area is just kind of a nice little jog now. Nothing too, too intimidating happening here. Alright, so I'm going to want to actually equip my anti-fire shield, I believe. Although the anti... well, having both might be nice, actually. Um, cause someone told me that the anti-fire shield was... which one, which one, which one? Dragon Crest, was it? Yeah, it's a very... well, that one's a very nice shield. It's, uh, high physical and high fire. Black Knight. Grass Crest. One of these didn't have full... What was it? One of these had really high fire defense, but did not have full magic... sorry, full physical defense. Maybe I'm misremembering that, because I'm not finding one like that. Because the Dragon dragon Crest is both, which is even better. Need better strength and need better weight to carry it around, though. Black Knight ain't half bad either, but it's, you know, even heavier. The Shield of Want is kind of neat. Alright, so I guess it's probably, probably the, um... Oh, this one. The the uh, War God wood shield didn't have bad either for fire, it's, which is weird considering it's wood. Heavy, though. Not huge fans of how heavy they are. We'll, we'll, we'll make do. I'll just have to dodge. Heaven forbid. Oh, right, yeah. Embers. Oh, no, I'm already embered. Never mind. We're good. I'm just forgetful. Summon Cuculus. Do I have any anti-fire resistance things? I probably do. Yeah, fire damage absorption. Let's go ahead and slap that on. Never know. Could be handy. Okay, getting right to the point. Yeah, go bug Cuculus for a while. Well out of range here, which is good. There's the fire. If I kind of straight this way a little bit, should be fine. I would have thought that Cuculus being a fire measure would be a little more resistant to fire, but... Ooh. Too far away. Uh, Kyokos, can you not hang out next to me, please? You're supposed to be dist distracted. I'm not bringing him towards me. Okay, thought that the fire could not go through those bodies. I was wrong. I duly noted. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one of those pellets while I'm at it, just in case. Okay, here comes his melee attack. Any time now. Just a sweep. And the overhand. But I'm expecting it this time. Can I get out from this, kind of this guy's foot? That'd be awesome. Okay, getting snagged on bodies. Kind of an issue in this fight, but it's okay. First time we recharge a little bit. Go for that. Mind the fire. Dude, can you like... Oh, I'm gonna do something new. What does that do? Or wave of fire, wave of fire. Kind of a bell ring of fire, actually. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Good song. 
Okay. He's getting all poison looking now. Ooh. Okay, glad I was outside of that. That junk. Let's rapid fire a few mini babooms at him. And there we go. Air of fire destroyed. Sold the old demon king. Cool. Thanks, Cuculus. Yeah, that wasn't so bad at all as a mage, actually. Some bosses are definitely less friendly for mages. Some of them are more, are, are, are more friendly. This one was definitely more friendly. As long as you just sort of backed up and attacked him, he was kind of fine. Cool. All right. All recharged. All power up again. Looks like this is the only fight going on here, though. So I think that's just it. I don't think there's anywhere else to go over here. Thrust butthole. Thank you, Dark Souls messages. That's so enlightening. Okay, so I guess that's all there is here. I'm going to run around just to make sure. Kind of take a look-see. But I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to zap back to Firelink Shrine, if only because I need to level... And then we can continue. Actually, I want to see uh, if we get anything cool out of out of, out of Wolnir's soul or this guy's soul first, actually. Because, as says mentioned, I, w I want new magic, darn it. Although I imagine Pyromancy would be more of these, uh, more, uh, more of the Demon King's forte. Uh, Ludlith. Up there. Ludlith. I might need cool things, Ludlith. Alright. Sure. Yeah, pyromancy, Chaos, Bed, Vestiges. Black Serpent. Also Pyromancy. That one's for Molnir. Eh, weird. Molnir's Holy Sword. A holy sword eroded by the Abyss. When Molnir fell to the Abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness and pleaded to the gods for the first time. This holy sword, together with three omelets stripped from the corpses of clerics, gave him some semblance of comfort. Cool, but it's a great sword. I don't really do those. I can actually wield it, though. That's... No, 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 you need faith. No. No, I don't. Dude, I, I, I cannot, actually. Can't use the Wolf Knight or uh, Farron Great Swords either. Demon Great Axe. Also a bit heavy on the strength faith combo, which is not really my dealio. Old King's Great Hammer. More faith, more strength. Really, you guys? Everything is strength and faith these days. Strength and faith. Demon. Wait, Demon Fist? Demonic Fist that burns with fiery essence. Its wielder can, can, can release its this power through, through use of its skill. When two hand, fists are equipped on, on each hand. That sounds really cool, actually. Flame Whirlwind. Spin through opponents with abandon. Flaming fists outstretched. That sounds really cool. I, I, if, oh, I would like to use that if I was a uh, strength faith build. That sounds like a lot of fun. Old King's Hammer. Great Hammer of the Old Demon King. This weapon has survived since Old Isolith and is imbued with remnants of the Chaos Flame. Molten Perseverance. Very cool. Alright, so neat stuff, but none of any real interest or use to us as as mages. Alright, that's okay. Let's just level up and get back on on uh, on our path. Really? I'm only like a thousand off? Eh, fine. Sorry. Not to get you off there, but let's roll. Okay, back to Irithil, I guess. Okay. Irithil of the Boreal Valley, which is where Vort is from, and where many other of his icy sword-wielding warriors are from. This rather scenic bridge. Bring a doll. Yep, I actually, I actually have the doll. So we should have the means of getting through here. Ah. Uh, what is that? I don't know. It's like a big rat lizard. Ow. Oh, that's bad. Drink. I don't know what you are, Rat Lizard, but I don't much like you. Easy to dodge, though, which is nice. Oh, I take that back. You can figure that, can't you? 
Oh, you totally can. Or maybe not, in which case. What the? It disappears? What in the hay? It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, take it back. Let's cool. <clears throat> yeah, it's another one of those bosses. Well, not bosses. Well, mini boss? I'm not sure if this thing counts as a boss. It has a lot of health. One of those creatures, anyway, that seems to be not so good for the mages. My, my, my spells take uh, have, have too much wind-up time. It may be a better idea to switch to smaller soul arrows. It's another reason why I wanted to get off of the uh, Ember Reliance. Yeah, that's a better idea. Let's roll with that. Away from me, dude. Oh. That was a lot, but okay. What? Ah! Hmm. Okay, I, I was pretty sure I rolled there, but I may have been wrong, or too slow, quite possibly. Okay, so this this episode is apparently just going to be the, the the old demon king and big nasty bridge guard episode. I could just run across and you know escape. It's probably some kind of illusion or something, but I want to kill it. He's eaten me twice. I demand blood and weird six-eyed rat head trophy. Also, I went way too far down. Come at me, Brosif. Or not. I want to die closer to this end, please, so I can get my souls back. Bad breath. <laughs> okay. Here we go again. Where are you? Lay on the hurt. Pontiff's right eye. That thing's a pontiff? What does that make? Way? Hang on, where does that go? Is that a ring or something? Yeah, it's a ring. Pontiff's right eye. Boost attacks as long as attacking persists. The witch ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights. Boost attacks as long as attacking persists. Knights who appear into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. One of the pontiff only, only provides these rings to, to, uh, to those dispatched to foreign lands. Weird. So what, like, you just attack and attack and attack and attack and attack? How does that work? I'm curious. We'll find out, I guess. Also, I think that taking the life ring off is the way to go, because I don't really seem to notice much of a difference taking it off. Like, it goes... My, 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 my health goes from that to... That, yeah, it's not that much of a difference. That's right, the, the hmm, cost of defenses, that's right. Okay, so that was that one. I, I, I had other things that worked well too, didn't I? That's the invisible rolling one. That's the better invincible rolling one. Boost attack power when your health is full. More, uh, more power when, when you're at low equip loads. 
Recovers H. Oh, that's a left eye. Pontev's left eye. I wonder if you equip both of them, if, if you get anything special out of that. Hmm. Recovers HP with, with uh, successive hits and, and, and does more damage with six successive hits. Well, these two are staying on. I like the Chlorinthy Ring quite a bit, so I'm only going to get one of them. Let's try boosting, the, boosting attacks. I don't know. Give it a try. Why not? Well, hopefully our, 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 our uh, beastie there doesn't come back when I hit a bonfire. That would be rather irritating. Hello there. Homeward bone. And here's the... Yeah. See? We're allowed in because we have the doll. And there's a bonfire. Just as asked. Wow. The game's being very nice to me today. Well, aside from the two bosses. Alright, so I know this one's been a little bit on the shorter side. I'm sorry about that, you guys. But I figure... With all the uh, boss fighting going on, this is probably a pretty good place to leave it off. We can explore Irithil itself next time. So thanks so much for, uh, for uh, being here. Appreciate it, uh, as always. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like or a comment or consider subscribing if you want to see more. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you next time. And for now, the Monster Mad out. Bye-bye!